Good afternoon, wonderful students. I have some important news for you. As you know, we're having a current spike in COVID cases in the community, and many of those cases are with school-aged children. In fact, today we have the third and fourth grade classrooms closed because there were students who came to school when they were positive and didn't know. Then they found out that they were positive. So we're going to clean those classrooms up and um, have kids not be in the classroom for a couple days. The mayor and the president of the traditional council met together and talked about wanting to turn things around and reduce our COVID cases. Currently, we have 16 active cases. They've requested that we close school this afternoon and Thursday and Friday. So we're going to do that. We're going to follow that advice because they're the leaders of our community and we respect their opinions. So what does this mean for you as a student? You get to leave early today at 1.15. You'll have no school tomorrow or the next day. Then remember that spring break is coming up next week. That's pretty awesome. So you're going to have a long stretch of time without school. Tomorrow, come on by the school. You'll have a mini packet of stuff to do. That will count for your grades. And you'll have some meal break lunches you can pick up for the days that the school is closed, Thursday and Friday. You can pick them up for yourself or for your brothers and sisters or anyone who lives in your household and we'll mark them off. Sadly, that also means the gym will be closed until this outbreak dies down. And we just opened it. I know it's sad. I'm actually sad too that we won't be having school for a couple days, but it's the safest thing and a good choice. Now I'd like to talk to you for a moment about your own personal safety. As you know, we are still doing 100% masking during the school day. The reason for that is that we've had this steady run of COVID cases. And while you're home and away from school, chances are you will not be masking. That means as you visit other homes, if you're not masking and your friends are not masking, there's a very good chance that COVID will continue to spread around. So you need to stop and think and think ahead about what that might mean for some of your choices. Here's some options. You might choose to only play out with friends and not have friends over at your house and not go to other people's houses. You might choose that there's only one house where you visit. You might, so you could limit your visiting. You might choose to mask up if you go in somebody else's house or somebody comes inside of your house. So these are some decisions you can make yourself to, sort, to try to reduce the spread of COVID for yourself and family members that you love and care about. I hope you all have a great spring break. All of us school staff will miss seeing you every day and take care and be safe.